Hey guys, welcome to a new video. So today we're covering more of immersive intelligence. And today we're covering components, starting with chips. And to make chips you'll need a chemical valve, a uh, precision assembler, and some workbenches. And they're constructed in three stages, the raw circuit board, the etched, and the result. The raw is made in the what's this thing called in the workbench with the blueprint there's per circuit port there's a blueprint Wait, come on let me really if you, uh, you know, God, if you make one of these then you'll put it through the chemical bath I'm not going to show it for all of them so that would become kind of boring there it goes through the bar and after it is gone through the wall, there we have it. An H1. You can go back in there. And the H1 is for the basic ones with basic electronic components, which are made like so with nickel, redstone, and a vacuum tube in a precision assembler. And you're not going to let me do that. And I think you guys have already seen precision assembler ones. That would be this one, and just to mention, all the components except one are made with inserter, solder, solder, uh, and drill. Like this, I think. No, like this. I don't know. <laughs> it's a bit embarrassing. Like, like that with the tube. I need four redstone. I must have changed this has let's change something there, I don't know what. Oh you picked up the redstone, that's new. You put the redstone in there. Slowly I'm just going to look at this once. Okay, put that in the vacuum tube. And ta da. There we go. We do. I was just wondering quickly if you have a result, a secondary result, but we do. So that would be used to make one of these. And the same goes for that, same assembly. This is a advanced electronic alloy and the uh, advanced electronic components. It's just an advanced vacuum tube and a basic electronic component. And an advanced vacuum tube is tungsten steel and a normal vacuum tube. And again here, same story, this time with more advanced electronic alloy and raw advanced circuits. And these are the processor ones. And these use processors of course, with advanced vacuum tubes and transistors. Transistors are pretty complicated, and you need a lot of them. And this one uses the buzz saw. So that will be it for processors there. At the point you get them, they're pretty straightforward. That's actually from the script. <laughs> uh, metal components. Metal components are also pretty straightforward. That should be here. It's still there, but should be here. Now it's gone. Springs are an exception to the rest, is but springs are made in the workbench like that. Okay, apparently you can do that. <laughs> Duping bug looks like. Oh, there's a ghost items. It's pretty funny. But that's not all we're talking about. All the other components are all metal press. And for the uh, shells and the grenade, you use brass. So, gonna do one demonstration. I don't know how many you need for grenade. Grenade is in brass. Are you gonna <laughs> always see that it's just the one that use nuggets and I'm gonna put nuggets. There we go. And that's the grenade shells. Don't know if you can already make the grenades. I think they require a actually you can make them I think with uh, ammunition, but that's when we come to military. All the way back there. It isn't there yet, but all the way back there. Um, one thing to mention about the uh, shells, the 
the revolver cartridge casing isn't uh, used at the moment. For the revolver, you still use what do you use for a revolver? I don't know. I should have prepared this. Uh, armor piercing. What do you use for the bullet? For the revolver, you use just vanilla casings. Vanilla. Vanilla immersed casings. Should have prepared that. Didn't. So we have the metal components. Metal components are used in except, not except, among others, the. Whoops. The engineering blocks. And the engineering blocks have, in my opinion, pretty cool textures. Really, the. Uh, mechanical ones with the gears and the pipes. So, it, it looks way better when you make it a bit bigger. With the, I didn't even notice that yet, but these are really cool. Uh, and let me look behind here because we have crafting recipes here. Th these are pretty simple some copper, some brass, some iron, and some treated wood. Grab that. And then we're going to do that. So just still here. Um, these ones, it's upgrading. I don't think you do it with the vanilla ones, but with these, you actually upgrade the uh, normal to the heavy one with more springs and brass. So if we grab those, I'm not gonna grab the brass. Just gonna that back. Do that. And you also have the they call electronic ones. I think these are used for data. And there's the first time the circuit boards come in and I know them, so not too bad. And advanced data are be the advanced circuits and tungsten. Tungsten is not it's not useful. Tungsten you get from tungsten. So also awesome. this this is pretty funny. But we have, for people who don't want to kill cows, we have artificial leather. And artificial leather is made. I did control middle click. Control middle. There we go. It is made from sawdust. Sawdust will be covered in a layer process. It's pretty simple. You're going to put water on it. Let me pick up one so I can show you what that ends up making the pulp. What pulp goes with creaser oil? We're running out of creaser. So. That'll make us treat it with bulb. I don't think you can turn treat it with the bulb to that. And there we go. There we have our artificial leather. And you may stop now. And this can just always be used in the same place as normal leather. It has the uh, old dictionary leather artificial, but at the moment we're not uh, we're not using. Uh, artificial leather in anything that doesn't use normal leather, and apparently because we ran out of creaser oil, now we're making paper. I did not know that. Did not. It's pretty funny. And already lost, but that can at least are some electric engines. Should start here. They use carbon brushes, just like a IRL. Uh, what's it called a IRL? Motor engine, some magnets, some aluminum. Get one. A can upgrade this with more with some tungsten steel and more magnets, and it'll make these. And these are purely crafting components. These you, you can't just place them down. Don't think we have anything for that for rotational power. We're talking about rotational power. That's next episode is rotational power and after that there's nothing probably going to be data but i still have to talk to the mod author about that whoops so i'll see you guys then and i'll wish you yeah, summer here, so hope you have a nice summer but until now till next episode or till uh what is it called <laughs> i've got mc eternal if you're interested in more content watch the mc eternal series but for now, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.